Breast cancer rates in the United States have climbed at an alarming rate in recent years. Health experts hope new mammogram recommendations can help catch those cancers early and save lives. Their guidance, women should start screening for breast cancer at age 40. Nikki Batiste has more. The new guidelines, mammograms every other year beginning at 40, are a dramatic shift from the task force's previous recommendation that women begin biennial screenings at age 50. I'm happy they moved to 40, but every other year is not good enough. In fact, the American Cancer Society recommends screenings every year, but beginning at age 45. It's also confusing. What should women do? I think it's very important for women to be proactive and really promote themselves for having what is good screening. According to the Radiological Society of North America, the rate of metastatic breast cancer among women between 25 to 39 is up 32 percent since 2009. I had a double mastectomy. Despite having no family history, Sarah Gilio chose to get annual mammograms before she was 40. She was just 42 with a newborn baby when she was diagnosed. I did find out after the surgery that the cancer did spread. Okay, like nearly half of women 40 and older in the U.S., Gilio has dense breasts, which increase the risk of breast cancer. Dr. Jules Cohen is her oncologist. If uh, you're worried that you're going to uh, you know, be diagnosed with an incurable disease and that keeps you away from screening, I would say that's, uh, that's not something you need to worry about. The new guidelines do not apply to people with a personal history or high risk of breast cancer. They should continue to consult doctors on exam frequency. Women with dense breasts can opt for additional screening like an ultrasound or MRI, but they're often not covered by insurance. John? Nikki Patisse, thank you. And Dr. Sarah Friedewald joins me now. She's the Chief of Breast Imaging at Northwestern Medicine. Doctor, why were the recommendations, uh, the recommendation, why was the recommendation age moved up so drastically in these recommendations? Well, I think the United States Preventive Services Task Force recognized that there's an increase in incidence of breast cancer in this age group. The American College of Radiology and the Society of Breast Imaging has always recommended annual screening beginning at age 40. Um, so we're pleased to see that they realize that bringing back the recommendations to women in their 40s is critically important. And how have the incidence of breast cancer shown up differently in, in different communities? Well, we are looking at all patient populations in general. It's sort of a one-size-fits-all approach, but we are realizing that there are certain subpopulations that actually have more aggressive cancers and that develop earlier. It's important to rem remember that these guidelines are recommending uh, screening mammography beginning at age 40 for the average risk patient, but there are lots of women out there who are at higher risk. So we recommend that women get risk assessed at age 25 so that you can identify whether a more aggressive screening strategy is good for you. And when you talk about subpopulations, what, what are you talking about there? So black women tend to have more aggressive cancers. Uh, women who are of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage tend to have an increased chance of the breast cancer gene mutation. So we wanna make sure that we are looking at all patient populations, not just ones that have historically been studied, typically white women. So get, uh, get that assessment at age 25. How, how essential and effective are mammograms when it comes to detecting and treating breast cancer? Well, we have found that um, when women are screened regularly in the United States, that uh, there has been a 40% reduction in mortality. Uh, this is really since the beginning of screening in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, if we screen every other year, though, that uh, reduction in mortality could go down to about 30%. So we really want to make sure that we're catching breast cancer early when it's easiest and early enough to treat. All right, Dr. Sarah Friedewald, thank you so much for joining us from Northwestern Medicine. Thank you. Thank you.